Inconel 600 is so good. How could there be a Versus with 314 stainless steel? Could it be better? Stick around and I'll tell you everything you need to know. Hey there, what's up? My name's Andrew Kotlar, and when it comes to weaving woven wire mesh, not only does alloy play into the strength and durability of the mesh itself, but also how the mesh and materials react with one another. And if your alloy needs good heat resistance, then 314 stainless steel and Inconel 600 could be your solution. But which one? For over 150 years, WS Tyler has been committed to helping customers like you navigate the various parameters associated with woven wire until the best possible solution is created. So in this video, we'll go over what 314 stainless steel is, the pros and cons of using 314, what Inconel 600 is, the pros and cons of using 600, and determining which alloy is right for you. Being an aesthetic alloy, 314 stainless steel is a low cost heat resistant alloy that shares similar qualities to that of 310 stainless steel. Its chemical composition is carbon, chromium, nickel, manganese, silicon, and phosphorus. The silicon in the composition allows 314 to deliver improved oxidization and heat resistance, more so than most chromium nickel stainless steel alloys. 314 is largely used for its ability to perform when exposed to extreme heat. In fact, it has greater resistance to heat than most stainless steel variants, withstanding temperatures reaching 2,102 degrees Fahrenheit. At the same time, it has become known for its favorable oxidization resistance. This includes resistance to scaling even when subjected to extreme heat. But I should say that its high resistance to heat does not prevent 314 stainless steel from having excellent weldability, that's right. And lastly, 314 is surprisingly dense, especially when compared to similar alloys. And that high density gives you a very high strength. So it does have a great balance between cost effectiveness and heat resistance, but it's corrosion resistance might make you look at other alloys. It's just not as robust as the corrosion resistance offered by other austenitic alloys. Another thing is its thermal conductivity. Because of its resistance to heat, 314 has low thermal conductivity, making it less than ideal for applications that rely on efficient heat transfer, which means it doesn't perform well in low temperature applications either. And finally, if you choose to experiment with 314 stainless steel, you have to be aware of work hardening. 314 can become more rigid, but less ductile after undergoing mechanical processing. Inconel 600 is a nickel chromium alloy widely used for its corrosion and heat resistance performance. Its chemical composition has nickel, chromium, iron, manganese, and silicone. Like 314, Inconel 600 is considered a heat resistant alloy. Its chemical composition allows it to maintain favorable strength and toughness while being subjected to extreme heat. And on top of having tremendous heat resistance, Inconel 600's chemical composition can fight back against combat corrosion. This includes corrosion caused by alkaline solutions, organic compounds, inorganic compounds, and chloride ion stress corrosion. And its high level of chromium allows Inconel 600 to combat oxidization. But when it comes to the mechanical properties of the alloy, Inconel 600 maintains high tensile strength and is not known to become brittle. This remains true in both high and low temperature applications. Pretty good. So one of the biggest pitfalls that you'll face with Inconel 600 is its cost. With a high nickel content and being a specialized alloy in general, Inconel 600 is a bit more expensive than other heat resistant alloys. And Inconel 600 is vulnerable to thermal expansion. When you expose it to extreme heat, it expands dramatically and can cause issues to applications that lean on dimensional stability. Lastly, Inconel 600 is a relatively dense alloy. This in turn makes it a heavy material which can affect equipment performance in weight critical applications like aerospace. If your process subjects woven wire to both extreme heat and high corrosive atmosphere, Inconel 600 will best suit your needs. This is mainly due to 314's lack of corrosion resistance performance. But at the same time, if you're looking to accommodate tight budgetary constraints and your process requires heavily machined woven wire components, then 314 stainless steel will make for the most efficient process. But when you're selecting the alloy to use, it's critical to consider the specific requirements of the application. This all goes to say that you should thoroughly evaluate your operation to gain insight into your exact needs to make a tailored selection. 
Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click that second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name's Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.